What's up? I'm FC Steezy. The intro you just saw is the intro I'm going to be giving away and showing you um, the steps I took to make it. So first of all, before you download it and customize it, I'd like if you watch this video, you'd understand a lot more on what to do and how to make it your own. Prerequisites to this, you're going to need Adobe After Effects. Um, I use CS6. I'm not sure if this uh, file will work on earlier versions. If it does, please let me know in the form of a comment, just so I can edit the video, tell you. I'm also using the After Effects plugin Element 3D, which is by Video Copilot. Both of these are linked in the description if you need them, so check those out. Okay. This is my first time doing something like this, so if this video is a little sketchy, please leave a comment on how I should improve. That would only help, but wait till the end of the video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. You'll if you download the thing in the description, you will get FCSteezy free logo template. This is a zip file. If you just go ahead and unzip it, you'll get this. And here are, is an audio. This is just audio effects I did. <laughs> pretty, pretty temporary. You could use your own, of course. Um, just some stupid credit. I don't know why I put that in there. An example. So this is my actual, my actual intro, which I used in two videos, I think and a logo example. This logo example is just a basic logo that I drafted out um, on a transparent background and it's white. If you have your own intro, I mean your own logo, sorry, I'd, I'd like it if this, um, this would work a lot nicer if you have it in this format, white on transparent, so keep that in mind. And you have Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up After Effects. I made this intro, um, so hopefully I'll, I'll tell you a bit about it. There's four main compositions. There's main comp, render me, edit this text, edit this logo. Pretty much self-explanatory, but you, you could definitely use some help. Edit and align me, edit this text I mean, uh, has a text layer called edit and align me. This is what you're going to edit your text with. So I'm going to go ahead and put in FC Steezy and I'm going to go to the align window and I'm going to hit horizontal set center alignment. If you don't have this, go to window hit a line and it'll pop up somewhere. This is very helpful. Uh, this is this is how you customize your workspace really. Show what, show which windows to use. The font I'm using is Bebes Noir. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Um, and then we're gonna let's go ahead and hop it to edit this logo once you have your text sorted out and you're gonna customize your logo from here. So now if you have your own logo in the earlier format, I already have mine this is a logo I actually made myself, so if you look at it, it's just white on transparent. Black is the default background for me. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my composition after I've imported it. I'm going to unlook that, and I'm going to size it down a bit because it's a little big. So I'm just going to 88 off rough estimate. And then if you go ahead and hop into Final Comp Render Me, you'll already see changes to the end of the video. Looks pretty nice. Um, except if you look earlier in the video, it's the old logo, or the temporary example logo that I already have in here. If the temporary logo example isn't showing up for you, like it's um, unfound footage, just go ahead and go to re replace footage, file, and direct yourself to the template with the PNG. So that works out pretty nicely. Next, you're going to want to go to your main comp and you're going to edit this, edit the logo 3D layer. But we're not actually going to edit the logo 3D layer, 3D layer. we're going to edit the uh, what the, lo the 3D layer references. So if we go to edit this logo, you'll see there's already a mask for the default logo. If we go and hit M and then highlight both of the masks, I hit shift to highlight both of them and clicked on both of them and just delete them. You'll see the mask gets deleted and if we solo this later, solo this layer, you'll see it'll be your logo in red. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually let's keep it soloed for this. We're gonna go up to layer, auto trace. Auto trace is very neat. It'll um, auto trace a, a mask around your really definite features. So in this of course it's around the um, what isn't transparent. So I went to red because I have it on uh, CC toner to red so copy those settings if yours aren't the same if this you can put this video in 1080p and it's a lot easier to see hit OK 
it'll max, mask it out for you very nicely. And then if you go ahead and unsolo that, you'll see the changes are instantaneous. <laughs> There's your the little logo swooping in with a reflection. The reflection isn't actually a true reflection, it's just the 3D layer, the 3D logo um, transferred over, uh, reflected over, not reflected, but um, rotated 180 degrees on the Z axis. I'm not sure if that's the right axis, but uh, and then the opacity is lowered. And it just follows the exact same paths as the other one, as you can see. I'm not going to mess around too much with that because this is a template, and I'm not I'm not showing you how to make an actual intro. If you would like that, I'd be so down. So leave a comment. That was just a rent, uh, render bug that you saw the old logo for a second. At this point, you're done. So feel free to render it and use it in your videos. So this is FC Steezy. Hopefully, you found this of some help. If you did please leave a comment. If you didn't, please leave a comment why you didn't. Only makes me improve. This is my first time doing something like this, so sorry if it was sketchy and sorry if it wasn't very professional. Peace out. Stay classy, YouTube.